March 16th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Numbers chapters 33 and 34 from the Old Testament. These are the journeys of the Israelites who went out of the land of Egypt by their divisions under the authority of Moses and Aaron. Moses recorded their departures according to their journeys by the commandment of the Lord. Now these are their journeys according to their departures. They departed from Ramesses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month. On the day after the Passover, the Israelites went out defiantly in plain sight of all the Egyptians. Now the Egyptians were burying all their firstborn, whom the Lord had killed among them. The Lord also executed judgment on their gods. The Israelites traveled from Ramesses and camped in Succoth. They traveled from Succoth and camped in Etham which is on the edge of the wilderness. They traveled from Ethan and turned again to Piahiaroth, which is before baal Zephon, and they camped before Migdal. They traveled from Piahiaroth and passed through the middle of the sea into the wilderness and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham and camped in Merah. They traveled from Merah and came to Elam, in Elam, there are twelve fountains of water and seventy palm trees, so they camped there. They traveled from Elam and camped by the Red Sea. They traveled from the Red Sea and camped in the wilderness of Zin. They traveled from the wilderness of Zin and camped in Dovka. And they traveled from Dovka and camped in Elash. They traveled from Elash and camped at Rephidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. They traveled from Rephidim and camped in the wilderness of Sinai. They traveled from the desert of Sinai and camped at Kibroth Hatava. They traveled from Kibroth Hatava and camped at Hazaroth. They traveled from Hazaroth and camped in Rithma. They traveled from Rithma and camped at Rimen Perez. They traveled from Rimen Perez and camped in Libna. They traveled from Libna and camped at Rissa. They traveled from Rissa and camped in Kealatha. They traveled from Kealatha and camped at Mount Sefer. They traveled from Mount Sefer and camped in Herida. They traveled from Herida and camped in Machiloth. They traveled from Machiloth and camped at Tehoth. They traveled from Tehoth and camped at Tara. They traveled from Tara and camped in Mithka. They traveled from Mithka and camped in Hashmona. They traveled from Hashmona and camped in Mosiruth. They traveled from Mosiruth and camped in Beni Jaikin. They traveled from Beni Jaikin and camped at Horhegagad. They traveled from Horhegagad and camped in Jopatha. They traveled from Jopatha and camped in Abrona. They traveled from Abrona and camped at Easy Ungaber. They traveled from Easy Ungaber and camped in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. They traveled from Kadesh and camped to Mount Hor at the edge of the land of Edom. Aaron the priest ascended Mount Hor at the command of the Lord, and he died there in the fortieth year after the Israelites had come out of the land of Egypt on the first day of the fifth month. Now Aaron was 123 years old when he died in Mount Hor. The king of Arad, the Canaanite king, who lived in the south of the land of Canaan, heard about the approach of the Israelites. They traveled from Mount Hor and camped in Zalmona. They traveled from Zalmona and camped in Punon. They traveled from Punon and camped in Oboth. They traveled from Oboth and camped in Ai Abarim on the border of Moab. They traveled from Iam and camped in Dibongad. They traveled from Dibonagad and camped in Almon Diblatheum. They traveled from Almon Diblatheum and camped in the mountains of Abarim before Nebo. They traveled from the mountains of Abarim and camped in the plains of Moab by the Jordan River across from Jericho. They camped by the Jordan from Beth Jesimoth as far as Abel Shittinam in the plains of Moab. The Lord spoke to Moses in the plains of Moab by the Jordan, across from Jericho. He said, Speak to the Israelites and tell them, 
When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, you must drive out all the inhabitants of the land before you, destroy all their carved images, all their molten images, and demolish their high places. You must dispossess the inhabitants of the land and live in it, for I have given you the land to possess it. You must divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. To a larger group, you must give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group, you must give a smaller inheritance. Everyone's inheritance must be in the place where his lot falls. You must inherit according to your ancestral tribes. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land before you, then those whom you allow to remain will be irritants in your eyes and thorns in your sides and will cause you trouble in the land where you will be living. And what I intended to do to them, I will do to you. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Give these instructions to the Israelites and tell them, When you enter Canaan, the land that has been assigned to you as an inheritance, the land of Canaan with its borders, your southern border will extend from the wilderness of Zin along the Edomite border, and your southern border will run eastward to the extremity of the Salt Sea. And then the border will turn from the south to the Scorpion Ascent, continue to Zin, and then its direction will be from the south to Kadesh Barnea. Then it will go to Hazar Adar and pass over to Asmon. There the border will turn from Asmon to the brook of Egypt, and then its direction is to the sea. And for a western border, you will have the Great Sea. This will be your western border. And this will be your northern border. From the Great Sea, you will draw a line to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you will draw a line to Lebo Hamath, and the directions of the border will be to Zidad. The border will continue to Zifron, and its directions will be to Hazar Enon. This will be your northern border. For your eastern border, you will draw a line from Hazar Enon to Sephim. The border will run down from Sephim to Riblah on the east side of Ain, and the border will descend and reach the eastern side of the Sea of Chinnereth. Then the border will continue down the Jordan River, and its direction will be to the Salt Sea. This will be your land by its borders that surround it. Then Moses commanded the Israelites, This is the land which you will inherit by lot, which the Lord has commanded to be given to the nine and a half tribes, because the tribe of the Reubenites by their families, the tribe of the Gadites by their families, and half of the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two and a half tribes have received their inheritance on this side of the Jordan, east of Jericho, toward the sunrise. The Lord said to Moses, These are the names of the men who are to allocate the land to you as an inheritance. Eliezer, the priest of Joshua, son of Nun. You must take one leader from every tribe to assist in allocating the land as an inheritance. These are the names of the men. From the tribe of Judah, Caleb, son of Jophana. From the tribe of the Simeonites, Shemuel, son of Amihud. From the tribe of Benjamin, Eli Dad, son of Kislon, and from the tribe of the Danites, a leader, Buckai, son of Joglai. From the Josephites, Haniel, son of Ephod, a leader from the tribe of Manasseh. From the tribe of the Ephraimites, a leader, Kemuel, son of Shiftan. From the tribe of the Zebulonites, a leader, Eli Zaphon, son of Parnach. From the tribe of the Issacharites, a leader, Paltiel, son of Azon. From the tribe of the Asherites, a leader, Ahiad, son of Shalemai. And from the tribe of the Naphtalites, a leader, Pedahel, son of Amihud. These are the ones whom the Lord commanded to divide up the inheritance among the Israelites in the land of Canaan. God, I love this part of Numbers. Not so much the names, <laughs> to be honest, um, but just your sovereignty and your control and, and your fulfillment of your covenant and your promises uh, to Abraham and Jacob and now even to Moses. Most of, most of Numbers was dictated to Moses by you. Uh, but this part, chapter 33, we actually see Moses' own words. Uh, in verse 2, it says he recorded their departures according to their journeys. 
And I love this accounting. Not only is it obviously a historical document, uh, a bit of a military uh, style document as well, but I just think it speaks volumes to the blessings of, of all the things that you allowed them to escape from in Egypt, um, even though they kept tending to forget it, all the way through your protection through all of these different places, uh, the destruction of the ungodly people in those areas, and then this move that's happening uh, and getting really exciting to move into the promised land of Canaan. God, today, I hope that each of us will take uh, a few very precious moments out of our day to acknowledge you and the blessings that you've given each of us. You know, each of us has been on a journey, some of us for 20 or so years, some of us for 70 or so years, but all of us have been on an amazing journey. And our journeys have always been to one thing. Uh, for the Israelites, it was to the promised land. And, and for, for us, our journey just keeps leading us back to you, God, to your promises that you make to us to be faithful to love us unconditionally, which is amazing, and to forgive our sins. Your grace and your mercy is the only reason that I am able to read your words today. Not a single thing in my life can I boast about. It has all been for you, because of you, with you. And for that, I'm incredibly grateful. So I hope each of us take time today to really intentionally think about the steps in our life, the journey that we've taken, all of the things that we thought were bad in this world that you made good, all of the situations that you brought us out of uh, when they seem dire, such as uh, water in front of us and the Egyptians behind us. Uh, and we've, we've had those moments where you've parted the sea for us um, and just overfilled our lives with blessings. And God, I just ask you today as, as the Israelites are about to move into the to the land, to the promised land, uh, to Canaan, that each of us also remember that you made promises to us and for us not to be like the Israelites that whined and complained and forgot those blessings so easily, but today that we will just store them up in our heart and always remember them, that no matter what, even when we go through the valley of the shadow of death, even when we're going through our most frustrating times, even when we think we can't see you in situations, that we can turn back to the stories of the Israelites and know you were always with them. You were always protecting them. You always had their best interest in mind and you were always putting them on a journey back to you. And for that, I find so much solace in that you're constantly calling us back into a journey with you, into a relationship with you. God, I just love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.